Welcome to this, the fourth in a series of videos on database design. My name's Andy Wicks, and in this video we're going to be looking at stage three, the cardinality of the links. I'll explain what that means. But before I do, let me just recap quickly on what we've seen so far. So far we've had a look at the original problem, which was designing a database system for a second-hand bookshop. The first stage was to find the objects. The second stage was to make the links between those objects. And this, the third stage, we're going to make all links one to many. That's important. We need that for a proper relational database design. So let's see where we left off. In the previous video, we ended up with these series of links on these objects. So author was linked to title, Title was linked to both category and book, and book was linked to purchase. Now we have to decide the cardinality of these links. Cardinality is just a clever word for which end is one and which end is many. In a good relational database design, everything is one to many. There are some very specialist cases where it could be one to one, but it must never be many to many. So let's get going. Let's look at this first link. Is it one author has many titles or one title has many authors? Well, let's consider that. One author, J.K. Rowling, writes The Order of the Phoenix as well as all the other titles in the series. So one author can write many titles. There are a lot of Harry Potter books, seven. On the other hand, you could have a title written by more than one author. So you and I decide to write the textbook on database design, because you're good. So this one title has two authors. So we could have one title with many authors. What we have is many to many. And that's not allowed. So how do we get over that hurdle? Well, what we do is this. We have a new entity, a new object, called author title. And author title is one to many with the author title, and one to many with the title and author title we put a new object in between, and that resolves the many-to-many. -many. So if you imagine that we had author and title linked, they would both have M's. Those M's are now attracted to this new object, author title, and each of the original objects, author and title, each become a one end. It sounds a bit complicated. Let's try another example. Let's look at title and category. One title could have many categories. So the book could be science fiction and humorous. It would have two categories. One category, though, can apply to many titles. There can be lots of titles that are humorous, lots of titles that are science fiction. So again, we need one of these intersection entities, as they're called. It's a flash term, and all it means is we need to put a new object in between these two. So we do this. We have a new object called title category. That attracts the minis from title and category. And each of those original objects gets a one. So one title has many title categories, and one category has many title categories as well. We'll see how this works out in a later video. Well, what about the next link? What about title and book? One book can only have one title. One title can refer, though, to many books. Remember, a book is a physical book on the shelf. So we could have several copies of 
J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. There could be three of these books on the shelf. They all have the same title. So one title, many books. And that's that link. Now what about book and purchase? That book and purchase link also needs its one to many. One book, many purchases? No, you don't purchase the same book many times. It's one purchase, many books. Now, we might just buy one book, but we've got to allow for the fact that there could be many books in our purchase. So we go to that auction and we buy that big box of books. One purchase, many books. And that is the cardinality for the design that we created. We've ended up with two new objects. We've ended up with author title and title category so that we didn't have any many-to-many's. That's the one that you've got to look out for.